is so fun. What is this place? Well, this whole area used to be owned by the military. Best camping spot I ever did see. <laughs> awesome. That? I hear ladies like champagne. <laughs> you know champagne gives me the hiccups. <laughs> Are you trying to seduce me, Mr. Turner? I just want to celebrate this moment. <laughs> you are definitely the woman for me. I respect your decision. I can wait. You're worth it. You okay? Doctor, okay? What do you think happened? I don't know, baby. What happened? Steve, come on, let's go! What? <laughs> place. Hey. You volunteered, Simon! Hey, do I know you? I don't know, it's possible. Who are you? Steve, Steve Turner. Yeah, well, I don't know you. But you look really familiar. Really, well, I, I've done some acting. Hey, look out! Just ignore him. 
Hi, I'm Lynn. Hi, I'm Steve. This is my girlfriend, Vidami. Uh, Mimi. My parents were hippies. Oh. What the hell's going on? Survival. <sighs> Slasher and DJ. Yeah. Trent. He's a very strange man. Come. Come on. Hey, she needs to lie down. Mimi, Mimi. Okay, okay, calm down. Slasher DJ, take her inside. I'll finish up here. Go. Get her. What's happening out there? Well, one minute we're selling cars, maybe perhaps celebrating in a strip joint. He's married. And the whole place collapses. What about the rest of the city? That's not good, man. People were screaming, fires, Jesus. Simon saved us too. Yeah, Simon. Yeah. Hey, uh, th this is DJ, I I'm Slasher. Slasher? Yeah, put your hands in the air if you want a bargain. If you want a great deal, get those prices slash and those slash them, slash them, slash them, slash them. We sell cars, Slasher sells around the country. What is this place? I think it's a decommissioned NORAD microwave station. But I could be wrong. I have no idea. That is Trent's brother down there. That is a thing. One nearly killed me 30 seconds ago. There is no place for them here. Trent! What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Have you ever had a child? A sibling, even? You love them unconditionally. Look, I have made over 2,000 films. Mom! Sorry. Dear, look, my world is no place for Jane. I didn't even think I could have kids. I, then I got pregnant. Okay. Still give her up for adoption? No, because I love her. She is my blood. That is why I can't let you kill Herbert. Trent! Oh. Hey! They ripped my daughter apart right in front of me. She was three years old. They were my neighbors. He sat on my front lawn and chewed on her arm like it was a chicken wing. I killed him first. Are you threatening me, Simon? Let's just all love the zombies. I mean, we can't kill Herbert. We got no food and we got two more mouths to feed. Are you people f crazy? I think you should sit down. You know, I f nicer animals than you. You didn't hear that, sweetheart. I'm not a child, mother. You are a child. You're my child. These are my towels. You stay away from them, clear? And we all just get along? That's funny. That's real funny. Trent, we just saved your brother's life. For the day of the Lord shall come like a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat, and the earth and all the works therewithin shall melt away. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. It's God's way. <laughs> what is? I don't like his attitude. Trent, your attitude sucks. Prick. DJ, get on the table. Please. Easy. Um, this is Jane, Kylie, and, well, I think you know something. Drink. I need a cigarette. I need to get the out of here. You're making me nervous. Just 
Go patrol the compound. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You coming? Like I got something better to do. Military training comes in handy. How's she doing? She's fine. She just needs some rest. Do you have any water? Yeah, sure. What happened to your arm? I, I got bit by one of those things. What? It's fine. Let me see. Let me see. Wait right here. I'll be right back. back there. How'd you find this place? I used to come here as a kid, pick my older brother. We'd go camping and playing war games, killing and uh, eluding the enemy. And here we are. Funny how things turned out. So, you think that's funny? 20 years in the service. <laughs> After my last horse, I decided I'd had enough. <laughs> anyway, what happens if she sees me doing that? You know, she's still a virgin, you know. I've kept a close watch on her. Just waiting for the right man, eh, babe? I was gonna do the business stuff, you know? Producing, that kind of thing. <laughs> I was at my own retirement party. I was gonna buy me a boat. And now here we are. <gasps> now that's funny. So, Steve, anything funny happen to you? We were just camping. <laughs> Let's fix you up. Let's see if you have a plan somewhere inside that head. That's all you got? Hey, that's our food. No, that would be my breakfast. What are you doing? Nothing. One of those things bit you. Look, I... Oh! We need him. He's infected. How do you know? I'm not taking any chances with my life. He's out. Let's keep him here. We'll tie him up, observe him. What? What's his name? Exactly. You know nothing about him. He might even be able to help. He can even be a scientist for all you know. Look, let's just keep him here overnight. I'll take care of him. You better be a scientist. He stays downstairs with Thing. Herbert. It's a Thing. His name is Herbert. Thing! I'm not leaving Mimi. <laughs> Jesus! We have 17 shells left, and you use one on the ceiling? Great work, Rambo. Not afraid to use this, especially on the infected. Look, I feel fine. In the basement. In the basement. Please. Don't make me shoot you. She'll be fine.
meet Thing, your roommate for the night. He will eat me. Yeah, well, maybe you'll eat him. Hey, sweet dreams! some food right there. Look. gonna give you these for breakfast. Look, let me out of here! Look, I've had medical training. My girlfriend is sick and she needs my help. Look, I need to be with her. She needs treatment. Up there, she's your responsibility. Do you want an innocent girl's blood on your hands? Please, let me out. Not afraid to use the gun. By the way, Lynn says your girl's pregnant. Already kicking. I'm not pregnant, okay? I can't be. I didn't do anything, I swear. I don't understand. I do. You don't want to do this right now. You want to wait until we're engaged, and then you <laughs> somebody else. I would never do that to you, okay? I love you too much. You despicable liar. <laughs> We haven't even had sex. I'm still a virgin! <laughs> Read the signs, people. The comet? Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath, for the heavens shall vanish like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment.
and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 6. Them out there, the dead shall rise, and those souls shall rise and unite with their bodies. Virgin birth in front of you. The Antichrist is among us. What a load of whore. <laughs> this is no virgin birth. You're at least three months gone. I was in Texas three months ago. No! Get away from me. I don't even know you anymore. We really need you in there, soldier. Okay, fine. But you need to eat. All right, that's it. That's all we got until breakfast tomorrow. Eat. You're a doctor? I'm not really a doctor. I come from a long line of doctors. I was the end of that line. I know the basics. What's going on, Dr. Steve? I'm not a doctor. Okay, Nurse Steve, I didn't get you up here for the party. Look, I think if we can figure out what drives these zombies, then we can figure out a way to get rid of them for good. No Have you figured it out yet? Look, I think if we just talked about the events that happened that night, we could find some clues. Some connections. Why don't we start with you, Chad? You. This might even benefit you. Ever think about that? All right, I, I live on a ranch about uh, 200 miles north of here, and uh, I was in the city. In the uh, adult entertainment business for 20 years. That's in case anybody here didn't already know. I that. was home alone. My usual Friday evening routine. <laughs> Fish dinner and a bottle of wine. At any rate, he, he liked the idea and he he wanted to go to dinner. And uh, you know, even though that was a that was a couple of hours drive back, I went, you know, and then <laughs> after the fourth martini I something had, happened. I like to call it the dick that broke the porn star's back. I'd seen the news about the breakaway peace, and I listened to the president telling us not to worry. Uh, I, I blacked out. I mean, I mean, we knew the 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 comma was there for like four days. Big deal. Telling us not to worry. But then the sound just grew louder. Just boom. And there's this guy. I mean, he's he's running down the street. He's running down the street screaming, and these things, these things take him down right, right in front of me. And then I, I started driving, and then there was a truck in the road, and it was blocking, and these things were all around me. So, and then I saw this place. Is it Trent? I don't have anything to say. This is how it's supposed to be. We can't do anything now to save ourselves or mankind. Please, it might help us. I work for my father in his church. Recruitment, running local AA meetings, that kind of thing. Are you scared? No. Well, if this is God's way, then why did you come here? Why did you bring your brother? Look, if we know what's happening to these people, maybe we can save them. Save Herbert. This is God's way. That's it. I didn't bring you up here to spout the same bull 
we've all been talking about for the last couple of days. I want to show you something. That's nasty. I know what that is. It's about a Herbert's pant leg. It's his. Would he do it to himself? I really don't think so. I think this is part of the transformation that these things are going through. All right, I've had enough of this medical mumbo jumbo. We need to eat. So unless you all plan on harvesting zombie oysters, this is the plan. Okay, my ranch is a couple hours north of here. I got lots of food and, and very high fences. What, to keep someone out? No, as a matter of fact, to keep something in. You see, I, uh, I kept a lion from one of my movies. Well, it died, but the fences are still there. At any rate, I have vegetables, tomatoes, every, every, everything we need. I just need uh, you two and you. What? Now, why would I want to do that? Well, you for reproduction, and uh, you for defense, labor, male companionship. You want me to be your slave? No. Ranch hand. And, and we'd be your horse. Well, kind of, but I'd feed you and shit. Feed this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't need any of you losers slowing me down. I'm out of here. I think we should go and examine Herbert. He's in. You're not touching my brother. DJ, now. Lights up, Richard. Let's go. What do you think you're doing? We're going to examine Herbert. No, you're not. If I have to spend one more night here, you and your gaping wound, spend the night downstairs with Thing. He's totally fine. Zip it, buff. I think he's right. I'm right. Now move. Move! No. Stop it! You left already, so what's this got to do with you? Now f off and let us do our thing. You too. All right. I'm gonna spend the night over there. In the morning, I'm gone. If he or Thing comes anywhere near me, I blow him away. We clear? Clear. Out of my way! 
Oh my god. And you like to eat human flesh? I don't know that for sure. My uncle, he, he, he's a raging alcoholic. He drank so much, one of his toes dropped off. Bad circulation. I mean, maybe as the body shuts down, the genitals are the first thing to go as these things rot to death. Maybe. Maybe his penis fell off because he wasn't given a fair chance to plead his case. Hold him, hold him. I love you. Please listen to me. All I have is your word. I can see and feel the evidence for myself. I don't know what's going on. But it really hurts. Please. Just don't talk to me. I trusted you. With all my heart. Steve, please. I need your help. I can't help you. Can you do us all a favor and hack him to pieces? He's the one with the gun. Are you okay, sweetie? Is this your... Uh... David's my partner. Married eight years. Tara's our three-year-old. She is divine. So, you're aren't welcome around here. It's more welcome than you are. She's her mother's daughter. Sodomites are wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Genesis chapter 13, verse 13. I make no apologies. It's all there in the book. Figgits will proliferate at the end of the world, bringing final justice to mankind. Luke chapter 17, verses 28 through 30. Sound familiar? I just lost my daughter and my partner. No. Oh, they're paying for your sins. <laughs> You're all right with me. See, it's all right. I'd have done the same thing myself. Yeah. Just kept pushing. Oh. I'd have cut his arm off if I was gay, which I'm not. I mean, I have a kid. place in Florida for you and my family, okay? I'm serious. Look, I'm gonna take off tomorrow. Go back. Take my chances. I know they're alive. Thanks. That means a lot to me. Burn for burn. Wound for wound. Stripe for stripe. Uh, Exodus! Uh. Are you cold, huh? Yeah. Oh, God. Slash, can you be a doll and close the door while you're up? Yeah. Sure. Me, personally, I like the breeze. Makes me feel like I'm still alive. But, you know, if the lady was gonna be cold. Ah!
Oh, sweetheart. I got this. What the f are you playing at? What? You gonna shoot me? Chad. Chad! Don't you know it's rude to point a gun at a woman? Now what? We secure the gate. I'm not going out there. <sighs> the all-American action hero refuses to dance! It's dark! He's a freaking Give me the gun! Don't be an ass. I don't think you have it in you. Do you? Simon! Simon, stop it! Stop no! it! Good enough! Chad, we need the gun! No. Steve, we need to save the shells. For what? An emergency? No, you use the machete. We'll let him in here. We'll let him in here one by one and, and, and do it that way. Let the enemy into our camp. That's the stupidest fucking idea I've ever heard. We need to go out there and secure the perimeter or we die in here. Look, give us the gun. Simon will lead us out and then we'll follow him. Give me the gun! Okay. I'll do it, but, but, but not at night, okay? I, I, I can't see at night. Look, we are going to be swamped by the morning! Chad's right. We have a greater chance in the morning. Exactly. You see, that's, that's what I've been trying to tell you people. Anybody got a clean shirt I can borrow? I do. Did I miss anything? Show me. Down there. In here. In my neck. It's just the pregnancy pains. Just like a ninja, huh? I can't do this. Move! Then move! Well, are you guys ready? Let's go! Steve covered the sides in the back. Open the door. Do it! Come on! Bravo! Delay in the inevitable by another day. Nurse Steve? Well, I, I don't know. What, you think I do? Oh, 
Mary, mother of God. Cut it out of there. Let's, let's take a look. That's disgusting. What is it? It looks, uh... Yeah, cut one of the arms off, see if it feels pain. That's gross. Oh, wait, are you kidding me? It'll, it'll help us figure out if we can kill a thing. Oh. Oh, the arm's still moving. It's growing a new body. I can already see the shape of the fetus developing. I think you need to do a full autopsy on that body. See what else is going on in there. Right? Steve? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the rest of it? Check it on the table. Over there. Is that over here? Or here. Just what we need. Maybe it's in the basement. I mean, the door is open. Any volunteers? I'll go. Me too. Go to the basement? You kick some ass. Always. anyway.
the creature. It killed Simon. I got her too late. Damn it. We have no more food or water. My girlfriend is pregnant with another man's baby. We got three shotgun shells left and a world full of dead humans being controlled by creatures in their head, which is all somehow connected to a comet crash. <laughs> could it get any worse? You could be castrated too. All right, that's what we have. Looks like these creatures are some sort of parasite, taking root in and sucking the life out of its host. It then castrates the male and replaces its reproductive organs with its own embryo. Sounds like fun. But why? Well, they're adapting. They're uh, trying to fuse their DNA with ours in order to, to come up with a, a, a hybrid creature that can survive in the Earth's atmosphere. It's able to reproduce asexually. So every man zombie is probably only days away from hatching. Man can't They'll take over the world. What about us? Man. Wait a minute. Mimi, come outside. Walk up to the fence. What for? Just do it. Walk around. How are the pains? Worse. Come here. She's one of them, isn't she? Dad? Damn it! Get up. And she's one of them. She has to die. You don't know what you're doing. Chad, put it down! DJ! You did the right thing. I'll be right back. Sorry. I should have never doubted you. 
Where am I? You're in the basement. Of the bunker? Yeah. I think I blacked out when you pointed the gun at me. I'm just so hungry. I really got one of those things inside me. <laughs> I'm a mom. Zombies. <laughs> Hey, Chen. Let's make love. Now. This may be your last chance. Ever. frozen into the ice of the comet. Possibly single-celled organisms waiting to randomly crash into a planet somewhere in the universe to continue its life cycle. Freed on impact, it then distributes itself all over the world in the fallout. Every living organism then breathes in this parasite-laden dust. It's like a simple tapeworm. These parasites just do what they know best, survive and thrive just on a bigger scale. Those things are gonna hatch soon. We need to be in a secure place, a stronghold. Like an impenetrable bunker on the top of a hill, maybe? Maybe, but we need to eat. Look, if we stay here, we need to set up a system for survival. Chad's self-sufficient ranch sure sounds like a good option now. We need supplies fast. I'll go. But I can't do it alone. You know I got your back, Carl. <sighs> Me too. Yeah. Well, count me in. No. You stay here and take care of your girl. And we need someone to man the gate. <sighs> Kylie, can I tell you something? Sure, honey. <sighs> I really respect you. Thanks. Come on. Come 
Nothing out there but a bunch of zombies. You saved my life, I gotta respect that. And like it or not, you and I are in this thing together. Why don't I trust you? All right. From now on, we all got guns. Let me in. Open your jacket and turn around. Don't make me regret this. Oh, chocolate, I got tons. I have tons of canned goods. I have seeds. I have music. I have generators. I have soft drinks. I have books, games, liquor. I even have this. Come on, Steve, my ranch, right? I... I need the company. All right, I need the labor, it's a big place. Mimi and I are the only ones left. Damn it! Okay. Wanna start a commune? Either you're ready to slap a door for you're ready to be friends. That's one of my lines from... Quadruple Jeopardy. I may know some of your work, perhaps. No kidding. to operate if she makes it back let's hope what if she doesn't oh you could have at least gotten the good stuff oh, well i had to raid all the country stores due to the flooding in the city it was either that or the local hooch in fact i got most of that too plus everything we need to brew our own <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> yes Ooh. Hey, Steve, I even got a bag of panties. What do you think? No? Steve, I, I, I 
I got some sleepy pills. Dear Mimi, I know what I'm about to do will probably cost me my life, but I don't care. To see you in pain is worse than death itself. I love you and want you to live on, not just for me, but for the sake of mankind. I will love you forever. Steve. Chad's ranch. Get it secure. Plant some corn, apple trees, whatever else he has in that truck. And we need to get a ring on your finger. ASAP. What are you saying?
Mimi. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. To the happy couple. Here, drink this. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's bad. <laughs> Shoot that one. Wait, wait, here, ready? 